Hi everyone and welcome to CCK Live. Today we're going to review the NDAA and break down some of the new laws that will affect service members and veterans. So let's get started. The NDAA is the National Defense Authorization Act and it's a policy and spending bill for the Defense Department that passes through Congress every year. President Biden signed the 2024 NDAA into law on December 22, 2023. This year's bill supports a total of $886 billion in fiscal year 2024 funding for national defense. For reference, last year, the 2023 NDAA amounted to a total of $857.9 billion. The 2024 NDAA includes several provisions that will greatly benefit veterans and service members, which we're going to dive into now. Let's begin with the new laws that will affect veterans and their families moving forward. The 2024 NDAA amends the section of the Small Business Act, increasing government-wide goal of participation in federal contracts owned and controlled by service-disabled veterans. The previous goal was set at 3%, and it rises this amendment, excuse me, this amendment rises it to 5%. Additionally, the NDAA eliminates self-certification for service-disabled veteran-owned small business in prime contracting and subcontracting for federal agencies. Next, the NDAA calls for the establishment of a registry for impacted individuals of the Red Hill incident, a fuel spill that contaminated the water supply at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam in Hawaii. The law requires the Secretary of Defense, along with other agencies and partners, to review available federal programs and research related to petroleum exposure and report their findings to Congress annually. Additionally, it allows for the possibility of conducting health studies to assess the impacts on affected individuals, and it mandates communication with those impacted individuals. The 2024 NDAA amends Title 38 of the United States Code to include members of the Space Force and various provisions. Essentially, this means that the provisions referring to veterans' benefits, such as medical care or disability compensation, will now apply to members of the Space Force, just like they do members of other armed forces. It also includes members of the Space Force and definitions for service members, group life insurance, which ensures that they are eligible for SGLI coverage. And some more Title 38 changes. Any member of the Space Force is now eligible for internment in national cemeteries, expanding the eligibility beyond just reserve component members. The NDAA also extends educational assistance under the Montgomery GI Bill and post 9-11 GI Bill to members of the Space Force. As such, these Space Force members will have access to educational benefits similar to those provided to members of the other branches of the Armed Forces. The NDAA also outlines improvement to VA's Defense Joint Executive Committee. Joining the committee is the Assistant Secretary of Labor of Veterans Employment and Training and designated employees from the DOL. This is meant to reflect a broader focus on military to civilian life but beyond just job training and placement. The 2024 NDAA adjusts the threshold amount for minor medical facility projects of the VA. The threshold amount for minor, minor medical facility projects will no longer be a fixed $20 million. Instead, the initial threshold will be $30 million with potential annual adjustments based on cost increases. The NDAA also aims to improve processing of disability claims for PTSD through enhanced training and analysis of processing errors. The Undersecretary for Benefits is required to establish a formal process that will conduct an annual analysis of the training needs of VA employees responsible for reviewing the disability compensation claims related to PTSD. Essentially, the law mandates that VA will create a structured process for assessing the training needs of employees who handle PTSD-related disability claims. It also requires annual studies that focus on understanding PTSD stressors and decision-making processes for claims processors. Next, the 2024 NDAA establishes National American Indian Veterans Incorporated as a federally chartered nonprofit organization. This organization is committed to supporting American Indian veterans, promoting their welfare, and advocating for their needs. This legislation grants official recognition to the organization. In the realm of mental health, licensed professionals employed by the Department of Defense are now authorized to provide non-medical counseling services, regardless of their geographic location. In other words, virtual appointments will be available. Additionally, NDAA pro 
prioritizes mental health access by waiving cost-sharing requirements for the initial three outpatient mental health visits each year for beneficiaries in the active duty family member category and those enrolled in the TRICARE Young Adult Program. The NDAA also calls for a comprehensive evaluation of the Navy's strategies to prevent and respond to incidents involving suicide, suicide attempts, and suicidal ideation within the Navy. Separately, military dependents are now granted authorization to receive dental care on a space-available basis at military dental treatment facilities located in specific remote or isolated areas. To ensure the availability and quality of medical care for service members and their dependents, the NDAA mandates that the Comptroller General conducts a review of medical personnel staffing levels at military treatment facilities, with the goal of enhancing healthcare accessibility and quality. We also want to mention that the 2024 NDAA introduces new provisions concerning PFAS. Specifically, it extends the authorization and funding transfer for a study on human health effects of PFAS in drinking water to the CDC. A report is now mandated, which will outline the proposed schedule and cost estimate estimate for completing remediation activities related to PFAS contamination and encourages the utilization of emerging top performing and efficient PFAS treatment methods. Now let's move on to laws that will impact our service members and their families in particular. The 2024 NDAA contains multiple provisions designed to benefit military personnel and their families financially. These provisions include a 5.2% pay increase for both military service members and civilian employees within the Department of Defense. The NDAA also mandates a thorough review of military pay rates and necessitates the submission of a legislative proposal for a comprehensive overhaul of military pay table. Further addressing the cost of living, there's a reduction in the threshold used to determine high-cost areas within the continental United States, impacting the cost of living allowances for service members stationed in such regions. In addition to these financial improvements, the NDAA also introduces changes to the calculation of the basic allowance for housing rates, which are meant to offer greater flexibility to ensure fair housing rates in areas with limited housing options. Additionally, parental leave has been expanded for specific members of the reserve components of the armed forces. The NDAA also compels the Army to establish more stringent minimum standards for the Army Combat Fitness Test, particularly for service members in combat arms and related occupational specialties. Aside from the new laws, programs, and reforms that we've discussed today, the 2024 NDAA also has provisions addressing international security, DOD operations, cybersecurity, strategic forces, and more. More details about the many changes included in the bill and improvements to service member and veteran benefits can be found on our website. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest information affecting veterans law, and thank you all for watching us today.